Oh boy, do I have a story for you. Okay, so I'm cleaning out the taxes. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. Gathering all the paperwork together, it's my job. I, I do that every year. I gather all the paperwork together and I find a letter. I find a letter I don't remember getting, but then again, I know I'm not of retirement age, so if I would have gotten the letter, I would have just put it in a pile for the taxes. What in the world is that? Huh, I made 25 cents doing laundry today. Whoop, there you go. I'm rich, don't spend it all in one place, but it gets even better. So I look at the letter and the letter is telling me that I'm eligible for retirement. Say what? I'm what? I didn't know whether I should be like excited that I'm eligible for retirement or offended that they think I'm old enough that I can retire. But moving on, I made 26 cents. So my husband comes home. And I tell him, look at the letter I got. And I got it a year ago. I got it a year ago. And I explain the whole thing of how I got it a year ago. And he looks at it and he goes, oh, that's interesting. And he takes it and he runs upstairs and he starts doing calculations. The calculations are very interesting. Let's just tell you. I stood there and I'm like, he's doing the calculations and he's like all excited. And I'm standing there going, but I'm not old enough. To retire thank you to which he gave me the calculations again let's start this bad boy because it gets even because it gets even better so we want to pay our house off and the thought to me was what's the difference if I keep it in the account and re and pull it out later as opposed to retiring now or later, like there's a difference. What is that difference? Bear with me right here because we're gonna get a little bit technical and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So I put all of the figures in the account and I realized that if I retired right now per month, I would get $60 less than if I waited till I was 60. Okay, well, I'll be 60 in four years. So here's what really made me go, huh? So I took that $60 a month and I put it, I, I opened up my mortgage payment and I put the estimated monthly check that I would get from my retirement. Trust me, it's not much because I didn't work there for my full length of retirement. So we're talking a portion of retirement, small portion, like I'm going to need every bit of money and it probably in five years won't even pay for our groceries for a month. My interest, if I don't pay anything, would be $157,000 that I will pay on my interest. Now, if I take that monthly amount and I put it directly towards my in towards my mortgage principal payment, my interest will go down to $84,812 in some sense. I am literally going to be saving $73,145.07 for the life of the loan. Now, take that $73,145 and divide that by $60, which is what I would have earned more in four years. This is where it gets really interesting. You divide that and you get 1,219. That's how many months I would have to live in order to start benefiting in the positive for the $60, say for the $60 loss that I'm taking right now. That means I would have to live past the age of 60 for 101 years in order for me to really miss that $60 a month. Wow, I'm not gonna live that long. So there you go, that's how I calculate it out. So the next day I make a phone call at, to the retirement board to which I am eligible to retire for. And I ask her, I said, I got a letter last March that says I could retire and she's like, oh, hold on, let's check. And she starts typing away and then all of a sudden she says, yeah, you are. When do you want to retire? To which I was like, huh? Nobody is even mentioning how I'm not old enough to retire, how I don't look old enough to retire. You want to retire? No, I want to be not old enough to retire. I'm not ready for this. Nobody prepares you for the day that you become eligible to retire. 
nobody. Nobody. To where I reply, well, today sounds good. And she goes, oh, okay, we can do that. What? You can do that? To where I was like, oh, 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 okay. And I'm just going along with it because I'm like, today? Like, really? Now, keep in mind, we're trying to pay the house off. So every little bit of money that comes to us, we use to pay the house off. We're finding really interesting ways on paying off the house. However, I was not ready for being old enough to retire. Yet, I can tell you, as of right now, I am retired. It just is a really weird feeling. Like, really? I'm old enough? Like, really? So yeah, you're looking at, you're looking at Tapitha, the woman that is retired from 911. Like literally on paper, retired. Wow. I'm just gonna let you know. It takes, my husband always, my husband always tells me, oh, well, you know, someday I'm gonna retire. It's just gonna be two bad days and, and I'll retire. And I stop and look at him and I said, honey, it's only gonna take two hours of a bad day to be retired. So I just keep reminding him that. Just two hours, babe, just two hours. So wait until you find out all of the finances um, and the things. That was, that was my good news for today. That's my good news for today. Whew. Yeah. Just two hours to retire on paper. Wow. I have no clue why I just went and opened that. I, I like have no clue, but my battery's dead, so we're gonna plug you in and I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna do. Because I'm retired now. I don't have to do anything, right? Yeah, right. I wish. Oh. Now you know what I know. Oh boy, do I have a story for you. I'm not recording, am I? Yes, I am. Anybody else have to... Oh! Wow, I'm making more money. Somewhere in here is something I do not... Hold on, I gotta... Oh, we're in here. This is it. So, uh, okay, I think I just ate a bug, or precisely, most likely, a spider. Oh well, going on with it. That's protein. So I go to my husband and I tell him, apparently, I can retire. And he's like, well, yeah, whoop de doo so can I. And I'm like, I never know how to start these things. Like, I literally never know. There is something about TikTok that I could just get on and I could, and it would just be done. And now I'm sitting here going, what do I say? Huh? What do I say? What do I say? Hmm. <laughs> Poof. Well, I'm all for, you know, more money later on because you might need that $60. Like that $60 a month more might be a quarter of a tank of gas because right now it is a tank of gas. Stick with me here because I know it's like, it's like the weeds. But this is how I realized I could not afford to not retire early. And that is the little geeky girl that doesn't even know how to do math. I, that, that's how I did it. That's how I calculated it out. Wow. And it's amazing. Like money is coming in weird places. Wait until you see some other things that have happened to us that we're just like blown away that, oh, really? Like people coming out of the woodwork that already have their places paid off and they're like, oh, I'll, I'll do this and you can, and you can do this. And, the, and it's, you'll see. Follow along. This is um, this is absolutely one way that we are paying our house off. But wait till the end of the month when I give you my March, um, the the mar the whole entire yeah month of March and how much money we saved and how many uh, mortgage payments we've we have shaved off of our mortgage. It is um, it's going to be phenomenal.